So today I have Dr. C, also known as my brother. I asked him if I could shadow him today on his regular work day, and he said yes. I guess. So Antonio, I'm just gonna ask him. I have to say Dr. C, by the way, because it's like professional. Like I have to say Dr. C, what seems to be the issue with this patient? You don't have to do all that. Well, have some fun. I mean, so we're gonna have a good time. I'll show you some cool cases. Today's kind of an easier day. We're pulling a tooth, making a crown, doing some fillings. So Doc, what do you need me to do first? Um, you can actually watch me and Marissa talk about a case. Oh, okay. We got the inside scoop. The inside mouth scoop. See, I was thinking like four. Like, doesn't that look Yes, little? yeah, she's definitely got caries here. She's got cavities here yeah. and here. Four MOD for sure. Three MO, five DO possibly as well. And I'll take some pictures afterwards, but I gotta do this case. I'm gonna send you the chart. Okay. okay. Okay, so Marissa was writing down a lot of stuff. I didn't know what any of it meant, but I'm gonna sit in my brother's chair. This is his computer where he just looks at like the teeth that aren't doing so great, like the unhealthy teeth. Yeah, basically just brush your teeth. All right guys, so I'm actually helping the doctor. I'm putting all these things into this bin. Okay, I can't fit all this in here. Twelve seconds later. You ready for me? Did I put too yeah, many in yeah, there, Doc? You did. You'll respect it. Still a piece of garbage. Can you grab the one in there? So me? This one? No, 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 this one? Right here. This one? This one? This one? This one? This This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? Sounds like Wally. <laughs> he can design the crown on the computer, send it over here, and then it will carve it out. Wow! Yeah, it's really technology. cool. Technology. Wait, so you're figuring out what we're gonna make? Here, go in there and explain better. The computer has thousands of possibilities of how the lower left second molar can look, and it out and designs what it thinks will be best for you. So there's what your teeth will look like. And I'm gonna add some information here. So I feel like my brother is really good at making crowns because it looks like he's playing a video game. So I feel like, you know, he's naturally good at it. Let's watch it get made. The crown? Yeah. So basically now the computer is sending all the information out to the prime mill here. And the machine is milling a crown out of lithium disilicate, which is a fancy word for porcelain. Okay. It's milling it, making it uh, look like the tooth that we designed. And when it's done, it's going to come out looking purple. We'll try in the tooth, and then after that, Hannah's going to show us how to glaze the tooth and make it look pretty. Mm. Yeah. All right, and the crown is done. The only problem is that I'm literally stuck in here. Like, I'm literally stuck in the chunky, and I'm getting very claustrophobic. This is literally... Oh! Hannah's back. Okay, thank God. Were you trapped? <laughs> I was. He locked me in the chunky. <laughs> So there's the crown. So this is a, the crown glow up. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint this crown. Am I doing good? Yeah. So the front and the back, you can glob it on a little bit more to make it shinier. Um, but you don't want to do too much on the sides here because that's where it touches the other teeth. And so the more glazed they are, the tighter the contact will be. And the more Dr. C will have to adjust. Oh no, no, make my brother. Make Dr. C's job easier. Oh, you did a really good job. Did I really? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah! 3,000 degrees? This is 3,000 degrees? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the new baby? The baby! There's the finished crown. Actually, you didn't even see what it looked like before. Wait, so I painted that. All right, so the doctor's gonna run us through what just happened with the whole crown situation. He's gonna give us more. Wow, when I talk, these get foggy. I feel bad for people who wear glasses with a mask. All right, doc, take us through the voyage. Okay, so this patient came to me a couple of weeks ago saying she cracked the tooth. Patient's missing this part of the tooth here. 
old silver filling. And after I started cleaning up, you can see actually the decay down there. So this is all soft and mushy and gross and disgusting and nasty. And the tooth peeled. turns mushy? Yes, this turns mushy. This is after I clean up some more. And you can actually see there's the crack in the back half oh of the tooth. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is all decay here. Well, how did you know? Did she like bite into something and it Yeah, cracked? she said something sounded off. She was in some discomfort too. So you can actually see here's the crack after we clean up more of the tooth. Wow. You can follow it all the way through. But if you dig down deep enough, you'll eventually hit the nerve of the tooth. This right here, this is the nerve Ew. that we hit. There's the nerve after we expose all of it. These little bubbles, this is the the root canal space. There's three canals. One, two. Oh, it's three. literally canals. Yeah, there's three little holes. You can still see the crack back here. With this right here, this is sodium hypochlorite, which is basically bleach water. It's chemically, it's very destructive. We kill all the stuff inside there without harming the tooth itself too much. Here's everything totally cleaned out, dry, nice. There's the tooth after it's been root canal treated. You can see there's the filling material that we use to help keep it sealed. Again, the crack is in the back, which is a little bit concerning. That's why we're getting this tooth crowned. That was immediately after we did the treatment. So we shaved the tooth down so she doesn't bite on it. This is the tooth before we actually wow. put it in the oven. So it was purple at one point in time. Yeah, we saw that. Yep. And here's the final restoration. So that's after we painted it? That's so, painted, cemented, that's good to go. So how good does this crown stay for? That As long as she takes care of it, she should be able to get at least 10 years. The problem though is that the crack on the back half of the tooth definitely hurts the long-term success of this tooth. So you can never really fix the crack? Nope. It is what it is and we're just trying to protect it with the crown. Mm -hmm. Doc promoted me to the fun glasses. How much is the pair of these? $2,500. $2,500? Yep. What are you doing? I'm putting on your battery. Oh. Oh, I have to wear a battery? Yep. This is so fun. How do I turn this light off? Oh, we have a cooling one and we have a warm light for that aesthetic, you know? Okay, so, just gonna put these on. You know, whatever. So let's wear these little fun lights, you know? Just adds to the whole dental aesthetic. Just makes me look more qualified. Okay, open wide. So how's life? Tell me everything about your life while your mouth is open and you can't really respond, but talk to me about it anyway. Okay, but don't talk because I need to work on your mouth. Oh, it looks like you're bleeding. Let me poke at it more. Hmm, still hurts? Okay, I'll poke at it even more. Do you floss? <laughs> you do? You're probably lying. Okay, so with my new glasses promotion, I got to sit in on an actual patient. He ate too many marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do any work on his teeth? No, I don't go to jail. <laughs> I could totally do that. Antonio, is this an easy thing to do what you're doing? Or is it like... You know what's making this hard? Me? No. He didn't want Novocaine. Cause he's like, I'm strong Turkish man, I don't need Novocaine. He's not that strong. <laughs> Shots fired by the dentist himself. This patient here has been afraid to smile for a long time. He actually trained his mouth not to show his teeth. Oh, that's very sad. So in five hours, we modified all these teeth and we did six crowns. Wow. Now the gums are a little bit irritated because we still cleaned out all the cement, so it's a little bit bloody. But mm -hmm. he's actually gonna be coming in, I think tomorrow, when we take a new pictures to show all the tissues after they've healed up. So wow. He's very, very happy with us. How do you not get grossed out? Because I was watching what you were doing yeah. and I literally like wanted to throw up. I think it's so interesting. Like I love watching like Dr. Pimple Popper and like that sort of stuff. So, like I love it. <laughs> I could never. So hopefully this video was uh, educational. I know it was educational for you. Yeah, I learned a lot. Brush your teeth, floss, treat your doctors with respect that people too. They have feelings, or in my case, fillings. Ha. <laughs> Comment down below if you want to see me do a surgery, like something really bloody, okay? It's good for the YouTube algorithm. Oh yeah, YouTube algorithm. Yeah. TikTok. Charlie D'Amelio. Coachella. James Charles. <laughs> well, I just want to thank the crew of Celestial Dental for letting me come in today. We'll do something like this again sometime. Keep brushing your teeth because you want those pearly whites. <laughs> this is probably like. Really oh, Dr. C, Dr. C. Yes. Um. I don't know, I just like your attention. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>